Yeah, welcome back to class. Now, uh, in this class, we shall be looking at the position of value added task under which we will be discussing uh, the uh, threshold for VAT compliance in line with uh, section 15 of the value added task act. We shall be discussing. We shall be discussing that compliance threshold. Okay, in line with section 15 of the value added task act as amended are we together okay so also we'll be looking at uh, when goods and services shall be deemed to be supplied in nigeria in accordance with section 33 subsection 2 of the finance act of the finance act of uh, 2019 also in brief we'll be discussing uh, the basic points of task basic task points that is at, at what point should our task be collected or uh, actual task points actual task points okay uh remember we've uh, one of the legal basis and nature of indirect tasks uh, we said the value added task act impose uh, the payment of VAT or impose VAT uh, on consumption of goods and services. Okay, uh, impose value added task on consumption of goods and services consumed by uh, both individual and corporate person. Are we together? Okay, so uh, imposing the value added task act imposing the value added task act then uh, we may need to be looking at the nature uh, objectives and administration of the uh, value added task okay so uh, the advent of the value added task concept in the very early part of the 21st century brought about a global acceptance by many countries this was due largely to the ease of administration and eye collection uh, heat and the objectives of validators include uh, to make the tax system more transparent to increase government revenue to reduce tax evasion practices uh, to simplify tax collection procedure among others okay so uh, the <coughs> okay so now uh, let's look at the uh, <coughs> VAT compliance threshold VAT compliance uh, threshold you know uh, based on the provisions of the finance act of 2019 uh, this section 15 section 15 of the value added tax act as amended okay uh through the finance act of 2019 states that only taxable persons with taxable supplies of 25 million naira only taxable persons with taxable supplies with taxable supplies of 25 million naira of 25 million naira and above are required are required to charge are required to charge <coughs> collect remit the task remit the task and then file monthly file monthly returns file monthly returns to the federal 
inland revenue service okay so again the finance act of 2019 amends section 15 of the value added tax act and that states that only taxable persons with taxable supplies of 25 million naira and above are required uh, to charge collect remit the tax and five monthly returns to the federal inland revenue service okay so the implication of this is that uh, any taxpayer who made uh, below 25 million naira are uh, exempted uh, are not uh, mandatory to what to uh, collect charge collect and remit uh, tax okay so if you cannot charge you cannot collect so if you are not collecting so what are you remitting okay but that doesn't stop them from uh, uh, complying with the statutory uh, requirements okay such as filing of uh, returns okay so any tax payer will make 25 million naira and above in respect of taxable supplies before the introduction of the act shall continue to charge collect and remit the tax even though it has not achieved the 25 million threshold in the current year even if it has not achieved the 25 million threshold in the current year so any taxable person who did not achieve the 25 million naira threshold for taxable supplies before the introduction of the ads uh, that is before uh, you know remember the finance act of 2019 which is the first of it was signed uh, sometimes uh, in January, uh, January 13th, 2019, okay, but was not uh, effective, uh, or let me put it this way, some part of it uh, was not effective, not until uh, February 1st, not until, so the act became effective 1st uh, February, 2019 1st of february 2019 okay so uh now for taxpayer who did not achieve the 25 million naira threshold uh for taxable supplies before the introduction of the act uh shall commence to charge collect remit and file returns immediately it achieves the 25 million threshold in respect of taxable supplies anytime within the year so it should be noted that any taxable person can voluntarily register charge collect remit uh, the tax and five monthly VAT returns if it has not achieved the 25 million threshold in respect of taxable supplies but such a person needs to notify the FRS okay I repeat the uh, any taxable person can voluntarily register, charge, collect, remit the tax and file monthly VAT returns if it has not achieved the 25 million threshold in respect of taxable supplies, but such a person needs to notify the FRS. Such a person needs to notify the FRS. Okay? So, uh, any taxable person who expects to achieve the 25 million uh, naira threshold were expected to achieve the 25 million naira threshold at a future date within the calendar year is as liberty to immediately commence to charge collect remit the tax and file monthly VAT returns so where a taxable person achieves taxable supplies of 25 million naira and above in a year he is expected to file monthly VAT returns even though part or whole of same is exempt from VAT again where a taxable person achieves taxable supplies of 25 million naira and above in a year, he is expected to file monthly VAT returns, even though part of rule of sin uh, is exempt from VAT. So it should be noted that taxable supplies exclude capital assets, which is taken care of under the Capital Gains Tax Act, uh, and also it excludes uh, you know capital asset that qualifies for. Uh, capitalization such as qualifying capital expenditure for the purpose of uh, uh, capital allowances okay so we shall capitalize in the books of the taxable person and the sale of the wool or part of the business altogether so for instance now if a taxable uh, person 
a ship passable supplies of uh, 48 million naira in 2019. Okay, 48 million naira in 2019. So when should this uh, start the collection and filing of monthly VAT returns? Okay, so this kind of tax payer are uh, having achieved taxable supplies of uh, 48 million naira in 2019 should charge collect tax and file monthly VAT returns in January 2020 in January 2020 another illustration is uh, a taxable person commence business uh, in February 2020 and net taxable supplies of 10 million naira in the month in March 2020 uh, he did not make any taxable supply in April 2020 he was awarded a contract for taxable supplies worth 40 million naira so if you had uh, 10 million plus 40 so you have 50 million uh, in total okay so uh, when should the task uh, taxable person approach the FRS uh, and to start collection and filing of monthly returns so the taxable person should approach the FRS immediately the contract is awarded he is expected to issue a tax invoice of 40 million naira, collect VAT, remit, and file returns with the fair from money, uh, with the fair from, with the fair from, from what, with the fair from the following months, which in this case, uh, probably will be uh, May 2020. Are we together? Okay, so that's that. Let's move to the next subtopic. When goods and services are uh, when should, I'm sorry, Okay, so when should goods and services uh, be deemed to be supplied in Nigeria in accordance with section uh, 2 in accordance with section 2 of the Value Added Task Act as amended as amended by uh, Finance Act as amended by Finance Act 2020 okay so uh possible supplies of goods and services are goods and services other than those goods and services listed under the first schedule of the value added tax at 2004 as amended so essentially these are goods and services liable to value added tax at the prescribed rate uh, which currently is at 7.5 uh, percent okay so uh goods and services can be deemed to be supplied in nigeria uh, a in respect of goods in respect of goods remember if you go on you are writing these goods shall be physically present these goods these goods shall be physically present in Nigeria at time of supply at time of supply imported into Nigeria at time of supply or imported into Nigeria or assembled or assembled in Nigeria or assembled in Nigeria or installed or installed in Nigeria or installed in Nigeria are we together or installed in Nigeria and then two the beneficial owner the beneficial owner of the rights the beneficial owner of the rights in or over the goods the beneficial owner of the rights in or over the goods is a taxable person is a taxable person in nigeria is a taxable person in nigeria and uh, the goods and the goods or rights is uh, situated the goods or rights is situated registered 
registered or exercisable or exercisable in Nigeria <coughs> or exercisable in Nigeria so that is in respect of our goods and in respect of our services okay so the service is rendered in Nigeria where a service is rendered in Nigeria by a person physically present in Nigeria at the time of providing the service the service is provided to and uh, consumed by a person in Nigeria regardless of whether the service is rendered within or outside Nigeria or whether or not the legal or contractual obligation to render such a uh, service rests on person within or outside uh, Nigeria okay so that is in respect of uh, services okay so also in respect of incorporate uh, property in respect of so in respect of incorporate in respect of uh, incorporate okay so uh, when the exploitation of the rights the exploitation of the rights is made the exploitation of the rights is made by a person in Nigeria is made by a person in Nigeria to uh, the rights the rights is uh, registered the rights is registered is registered in Nigeria is registered in Nigeria assigned to or uh, acquired assigned to assigned to or uh, acquired okay so the rights is registered in Nigeria assigned assigned to or uh, acquired by a person acquired by a person in Nigeria regardless regardless of whether regardless of whether the payments regardless of whether the payments for its exploitation for its exploitation is made is made within or outside within or outside uh, Nigeria then uh, the third one uh, an incorporate will be considered uh, will be considered what will be considered good deemed to be supplied in Nigeria where the exploitation of the rights is made by a person in Nigeria the right is registered in Nigeria, assigned to or acquired by a person in Nigeria, regardless of whether the payment for its exploitation is made within or outside Nigeria, or the incorporee is connected. The incorporee, the incorporee is connected, is connected with a tangible is connected with a tangible or immovable asset or immovable asset located in Nigeria located in Nigeria so it is pertinent to state that services rendered to and consumed by Nigerian residents while physically outside Nigeria is not uh, liable to uh, to is not liable to valid tax in Nigeria. Okay, so uh, again, services rendered to and uh, consumed by Nigeria residents while physically outside Nigeria is not liable to VAT in Nigeria. Okay, so also services rendered, services rendered remotely, online, or by other virtual means to Nigerian residents 
or persons is liable to VAT in Nigeria, uh, regardless of the medium of delivery of the service. Services provided to persons while in Nigeria shall be liable to VAT in Nigeria, or services performed in Nigeria. Okay, so services performed in Nigeria to persons in Nigeria is liable to VAT irrespective of the resident status of the provider of the service provider. So regardless of the middle of delivery of the service, services provided to persons while in Nigeria shall be liable to VAT in Nigeria. Okay, shall be liable to VAT in Nigeria. Are we together? Okay. So now let's move to uh, the next items on the list. So uh, the next topic now is what is uh, the next topic is the definition of basic uh, task points and the uh, actual task points. Definition of basic task points and the actual task points are we together? Sorry, the uh, laptop is malfunctioning, so while we wait, it come up. Uh, basic task points is a point. Uh, they usually come early, uh, probably uh, when the uh, probably when the uh, money is being uh, received in advance. Okay, so when we have a customer that always uh, pay uh, pay in advance. Okay, so uh, such payments uh, is what is uh, is exempted. Okay, such payments is exempted. So uh, again, we have uh, basic task points and actual task points. We have the basic task points and actual task points. The basic task point is a point is a point where task becomes is a point where task becomes payable where task becomes uh, payable so uh, in most cases in most cases okay so uh, Again, I repeat, the basic task point is a point where task payer becomes a payable. So, in most cases, uh, the basic task points, the basic task points for a supply, the basic task point for a supply of goods, the basic task point for a supply of goods occurs on the remover, occurs on the remover. So the normal these are uh, normally means that the supply or collection are uh, by the buyer. Okay, so the basic task point for the supply of services is when the services are performed. Again, the basic task point for the supply of services is when the uh, services are performed. Is when the services are performed. So that's for basic task points. And then for actual uh, task points, you know, basic task uh, rates or task point arises when the goods are delivered or services rendered. Okay, when the goods are goods are, de are, are delivered or services rendered. Okay, so uh, an actual task point can be created. An actual task point can be what can be created. Can be created either before, ok, 
Okay, so actual task points can be created either before, uh, either before or after the basic task points. Okay, so an, uh, another task point arises if the supplier issues a VAT invoice. An earlier task point arises if the supplier if the supplier issues a VAT invoice issues a VAT invoice or receive or receive or receive or receive okay so again another uh, task point arises if the supplier uses a VAT invoice or receive or receive a payment or receive a payment in advance or receive a payment in advance of the basic task points of the basic task points so a little task point arises if the uh, arises if the ta if the supplier uses a VAT invoice or receive payment after the basic task points okay so uh, for now we are stopping here okay so i uh, do have a successful diet ahead of you goodbye